Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to our channel. My name is Beck. I'm a professional mindset coach with a background as a medical doctor. And that is why I host the group coaching program, Dear Darling, which is currently full of doctors who obviously are hungry for this work. I think we need this work so badly as doctors. We have such complex, high stakes jobs. And paired with that, we're often, certainly the people that I coach are often highly empathetic women, which is a beautiful thing, but it creates all these other complexities, challenges, competing desires in our work. And also we have this background conditioning as high achievers and people pleasers. So with all that being said, there's so much that we want to unlearn if we want to live a life that is truly one that fulfills us, where we can really say, I like myself, I like my decisions. When we're getting pushed and pulled around by all of these competing conscious and unconscious shoulds and external standards. Instead, with Dare Darling, I help my doctors be unshakable. I teach them how to be in control of their mind in order to do that. But what is requisite to being unshakable is having something to be grounded in. And so we actually need to do a lot of work creating and reconnecting with this sense of self authority that we've lost along the way. As high achievers and people pleasers, we become so used to outsourcing our decisions, looking out to other people to figure out what they think is right. Especially as doctors, you know, we become experts in our own way, but we always think that there's somebody smarter than us and somebody else to learn from. And while that is, true and useful in so many ways to be open-minded and seeking different perspectives. This is not the place that we want to principally live our life from. We want to be positioning ourselves as the expert on ourselves in our own lives. And yeah, we want to be open to other people's decisions, but we don't want to let their decisions, their emotions, their opinions be the measurement, our, our compass, our barometer for whether our decision was right or not. We need to start being able to get this advice and hold this authority for ourselves. Now, with all of that being said, today I wanted to talk about a very unlikely suspect for something that can help you, give you that sense of self and that sense of authority in your life again. And that is jealousy. That's right. Jealousy is not all bad. <laughs> and I know it doesn't feel good. And I know nobody's gonna be out there being like, yeah, I wanna be more jealous. Pick me, pick me, give me more jealousy. <laughs> and I get that, but we're making lemons out of lemonade. I always say that the wrong way. We're making lemonade out of lemons today, which I have to say is one of the ingredients for living a good life, being able to take what you're given and turn it into an opportunity. And that's what we're doing with jealousy. When I was first starting to do this work, when I was first starting to diverge from the path that I was following just because, you know, it was the commonly celebrated path. And I started to actually therefore ask myself, for myself, what do I think? What's important to me? If I could do anything with my life, if I, if I could have any impact with my life, what would I choose? And one of the questions that really helped me was this one of who do you admire? Now, a very close cousin to admiration is envy, i.e. jealousy. So another helpful question here is who do I envy? And then I started to notice when I, I guess when I stopped swatting away that question and swatting away it just as seeming like a negative thing that had nothing to offer me, I started to notice as I'd presented myself with that question without judgment that there are people who I envy in my life. And not so much anymore, envy and jealousy aren't, oh, look, they, they do come up for me, but it's very infrequent only because of the mindset work that I've done around this. Back to what I was saying with envy and admiration being very similar. Now I think that it turns to envy or jealousy when we have these other thoughts that come with our beliefs about this other person, like oh, it's not fair that they have that, I want that and they don't have it and that's not fair, they didn't deserve it, I can't have that, right? I think what happens is when we have those kinds of thoughts, and I'm sure there are other branches of this, 
that then put this negative tinge on what actually is us admiring and wanting something that this other person has. When we're jealous of someone, we're saying they have something good and I want that too. And here's why, here's how we're turning these lemons to lemonade today, the sour to the sweet. By recognizing that what's under this envy or this jealousy is clues for you about what you want and potentially with what you want, what actually matters to you. And there's still some other thought work to do here because sometimes what you want, what you want in the moment or you want for the wrong reasons or you want because you think it'll be easy or create safety or certainty or it's a good deal or whatever. Like, you know, sometimes the reasons aren't there. But my point is following these feelings of envy and jealousy and admiration can be such helpful, tangible clues for you being able to actually answer the question, what do I want? Such a simple question that so many of us struggle with. And when we get tuned into what we actually want, then we have a compass for our life. Then we have a compass to make these really hard decisions about what we should spend our time and energy on and what doesn't get our time and energy. It makes it so much easier to show up as the person you wanna be just by virtue of creating this clear, compelling decision tool. And then imagine the results that come from not only taking the path of what you want, but also saving all that energy of the confusion and the indecision that comes with not being clear. So my beautiful friends, you can do that gorgeous work of who do you admire? That's gonna feel wonderful. But what I wanna offer you today is do not shy away from the question of what makes you jealous? Who do you envy? And start to delve into that, use that for yourself. Don't hide from it. Don't judge yourself for it. And you know, we can do that work in other cases about what's tinging this desire and making it envy and jealousy rather than admiration and pure wanting and excitement that actually you can have that too. And this, these are clues for you. We can do that work, but that'll be for another video. Hey, for today, I just want to encourage you and give you permission to feel that envy, feel that jealousy, let it be there. Do not judge yourself for it and just follow it see what it has to offer you make <laughs> lemonade from lemons did i just pick this little analogy out subconsciously because i'm wearing the most lemony yellow you could ever wear <laughs> what do you think let the mind tricks play on now on this note of having powerful questions to ask yourself questions that actually lead you to what you really want when we've kind of spent our whole life suppressing what we want in order to follow this path of what's right and what makes you successful and and good and and da 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 i've got something that can help you do this i've created a signature protocol called the award ceremony which is really about helping you connect with yourself helping my dear darling members connect with themselves and create that authority in their life that true driving why, that version of her that you wanna be and letting her therefore become the authority in your life, becoming the person who answers your questions and gives you the advice when you need it. Not me, as a coach, I don't give advice, but I help you get the advice out of yourself. And that's exactly what this protocol does. Now, if you would like to explore more about what's actually important to you, then I am gonna include the first page of this protocol with a whole list of these beautiful, gorgeous prompting questions to help you discover what really matters to you, separate from all the conditioning, all the high achieving, people pleasing, external pulls and pushes. So if you would like to start doing this work, if you'd like to start using those questions, then find the link down below and I will send them straight to you. I spent over an hour just answering, you know, four or five of these questions. They're so awesome. Just lazing in my backyard in the sun, journaling away one Sunday, and it was just so beautiful. I think you can use these questions. I know you can use these questions over and over and over again in your life. And as you start to discover yourself more, have more experiences and take different paths, these questions will keep iterating and building. And this work will really add up to a very strong grounded sense of what matters to you. And that is a key ingredient of being unshakable. All right, my beautiful friends, I hope you found this one so, so useful. Give me a like if these videos are useful to you. Let me know what you wanna hear more of down in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you don't wanna miss a video because I put them out every single week. 
Love you guys so much. I'm so glad you are here and asking these hard questions for yourself and making them a little bit less hard by removing these layers of judgment and recognizing how human we all are. Right, my beautiful friends, have a beautiful week and I'll see you soon.